things started picking up and the rest is history now that you are back home. We'll always remember Brawili and we'd like to encourage young people what he has left for us, the writings that he has left, the good memories that he has left. we like all of us to find time, like the comrade who came before me said, to read and enrich ourselves. We we'll always miss him. Veterans League. Um, one of the things that uh, the young people of Pep's younger generation have got to do in order to move forward is to understand and contextualize history so that they don't make the mistakes that were made in the past, so that they do and improve whatever that uh, those that came before them <coughs> going, uh, going, going forward. What we are going to do now, we are going to ask uh, one of the elders from the family to say a few words, and then we will take it from there. <coughs>
I think that uh, <coughs> one of the things you must say, having worked and uh, spent time in different areas of our lives with Brawili, is that each and every one of us must then say, what is it that I'm going to pick up from the life of Brawili? And having identified that and excel in it so that his legacy can live on. That's how legacies can can be relived, but also that's how you preserve and promote the heritage. This <coughs> man, what he has done for us remains unmeasurable. What he has done in each and every one of our lives is something that I think we will never forget because it is such great men that uh, we need to emulate, but also we need to continue to produce in our society so that indeed the dream of a better society does become uh, realized. But also, <clears throat> sitting in this room is the wisdom. Uh, and those that have got a lot of great knowledge, you need to continue to contribute to our society yourselves in making sure that uh, young people see a brighter future. Uh, young people can be able to believe in this country, including believing in the movement <coughs> that he has served for the rest of his life, the African National Congress. I'm going to ask the following uh, Paul Beras so that they will go out to be the ones that they are taking Brawili to the S. Uh, that's uh, Trevor, uh, Spasem, Kingston, uh, Anthony, Bramai, Raymond. Then when we arrive at the at Max Park, we will do another small ceremony of the flag. The National Chairperson of the ANC, Brother Mandashi, is here, and the, possibly the President of the Veterans League will uh, handle the flag issue of the ANC. Then after that, we'll hand over to the South African National Defense Force. <coughs> As you're all aware that uh, Brawili has been given a special funeral designated by the President on the basis of his contribution uh, in our lives continent and in the rest of the world. Um, let me ask them to come up front to help us uh, take Brawili. Then they will follow follow uh, our baby, the family and the children. These are the family cars outside here. There's also the family buses that are there so that uh, there's no crisis in terms of the cars. Those who are taking in all these cars and the ones there in the Behind with the buses. After the service at the, at the, at the West Park, we will return here at home. So you don't have to worry about transport if you are in the family cars. It's the two kumbis and the two big uh, 60 seater buses. So if you want
want to leave your car, please help. You can leave your car. Uh, there's no, there's no challenge. Before we go out, uh, one member told the leader. It's on here, but it needs to be paired. Sorry. They are on our visuals. The short funeral service at home has just been completed, and now the funeral procession will move from Deep Kloof in Soweto and move to Marks Park, where the main service expected to start around 9 o'clock will then begin, but the first thing that will happen 
when the body gets to Marx Park is to change the flag. The first thing that's expected to happen when the funeral procession gets to Marx Park is to change the ANC flag to the national flag and that ceremony will be overseen by ANC Chairperson Gwede Mandashe as well as the president of the Veterans League we expect that should be Dr. Snuki Zigalala and then from there the formal funeral ceremony will then begin and that ceremony we know that Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa is then expected to